In this video, we are going to see about a Python IEEE project which is entitled as a system for automated vehicle damage localization and severity estimation using deep learning which is an IEEE 2024 transaction paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we all know that everyone is started using vehicles especially cars. So in United States every year 6.75 million car accidents are happening so this is the data that is produced by Brunei of transportation statistics BTS so after a, the accident occurs the damage assessment will be made this damage assessment after the accident is a time intensive process average it takes around seven days or one week or more than that so every field nowadays are implementing artificial intelligence for the automation so uh, implementing this uh, artificial intelligence in the vehicle damage is being introduced by in this paper by the authors so in this project the authors of proposed the vehicle damage localization and severity estimation using the deep learning so before seeing our proposed system let me explain about the base paper concept please note that we are not going to implement the same as mentioned in the base paper so first let me tell what is done in this base paper so in the base paper they have developed three deep learning models a model to identify whether a vehicle is present in the image a model to localize the vehicle parts in the image and the model to localize the damage in the image and uh, the label data set contains the images of the vehicles after an accident so those are collected by the OE original equipment insured fleet and some acquired by users of the OEM original equipment manufacturer mobile application so here they are developing a machine learning model uh, for the vehicle identification, vehicle part localization, vehicle damage localization and uh, here uh, they are using only the image based vehicle damage assessment and the model they have used is they have included various architecture like VGG16, VGG19, ResNet50, Inception, ResNet V2, Inception V3, MobileNet and MobileNet V2 and finally they have uh, achieved more accuracy in the mobile net architecture. Uh, please note that we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper and let me tell about the classes so here they have used only three main classes that is four classes no damage body damage surface damage deformity so so these are the things that is done in the IEEE base paper so now let us see about our proposed system that what are all that we have improved from it so the first thing is like the model that we have used is YOLO V8 architecture and accuracy that we have achieved is 91 percentage and uh, other than the base paper so we are going to use three different modes that is one is using image based detection video based vehicle damage detection and webcam real time webcam based damage detection and here we are going to use eight classifications that is the uh, 0 to 7 that is damaged door damaged window damaged headlight damaged mirror dent damaged hood damaged bumper damaged windshield so these are all the a classification so from the base paper we are going to change uh, we are going to introduce the latest model yolo v8 and we are going to improve the accuracy to 91 percentage we are going to use three different modes the base paper they have done only using image based but here we are going to use image based video based webcam based real time Base. and also we are going to improve the classifications as a base paper that is only three and we are going to do eight classifications for the improved system so now let us see the proposed uh, document so here you can see the IEEE base paper title a system for automated vehicle damage localization and severity estimation is in deep learning so or you can use our proposed title as smart car damage detection and analysis using deep learning so this is the IEEE base paper abstract so in our proposed abstract you can see about the summary of the abstract that uh, we are going to develop the automated vehicle damage localization and severity estimation is in deep learning so this is 
going to build using Python for the backend and the front end part content HTML CSS JavaScript and using the flask framework framework so here we are going to use YOLO v8 that is mentioned and we have mentioned about the accuracy that we have mentioned now we are going to uh, it is being described about the modes of operation so we are going to uh, detect using image based video based and webcam based predictions are going to done on it and uh, and then coming to the data set part so there are 778 labeled images so where 485 images for the training set and 293 for the validation set so this contains eight classes of images door damage door damaged window damage headlight damaged mirror then damaged root damaged bumper and damaged windshield so these are the data set images so let me show you about the data set images first and then we will come back again so in the model we are given the data set to contain the train and validation so here you can see the images of the system that we are going to train up so these are the various images so these are our own data set images we are collected from various internet sources so these are all the images so there are around uh, 485 in the training set you can see this these are all for the training set and the validation you can see it is around 293 so these are all the images that is contained in the validation process so those, those details have been described in the abstract part so after that uh, yeah, summarize that this is an automated system presenting a significant technology leap in vehicle damage assessment and coming to the existing system so we are taking the base paper as existing system so in the base paper they have used computer vision technique for the vehicle damage localization and severity estimation and then they have used various models those models really have been done and that mobile net was the best was been mentioned in it so the existing the details of which data set they have used and what are the classifications they have taken only the four classification no damage body damage surface damage and deformity so those details have been described in the existing system coming to the disadvantage of the existing system uh, we have described about the mobile net so for uh, disadvantage another drawback is like the limited capacity to handle large scale high resolution images and also coming to the other thing the image they have done only image based detection they are not used video or real time based so that is another limitation that we have described and uh, coming to the classification they have done only three four classification we have done about seven classification those details are being described detailed in the disadvantage analysis. coming to the proposed system so we have developed the advanced system from the base paper using yolo v8 and what all the front end technologies the images the classification whatever the thing that i have described is being described detailed in the proposed system coming to the advantages so what are the advantages the accuracy part the classification part the modes part everything is being described in detail in the advantages so coming to the system architecture so the input is like we will be training the system using input card images data set so pre pre processing and feature selection is made yolo v8 architecture has been trained and the three modes are image based card detection dam card damage detection video based card damage detection webcam based card detection the prediction result will be in these seven classification and finally the performance analysis and graph part will be shown so this is the system architecture the hardware on uh, the minimum hardware requirement and software requirement so this project can be executed in windows 10 or 11 the coding language we have used is python 3.12.0 the web framework is flask and front end part content html css and the javascript so this is the reference of the project that is the IEEE base paper so this is the transaction paper so now let us see the execution of the project before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the library and python install on it so now inside the source code location inside the car damage we have the other files and app.py files so here let me type cmd and click enter now type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for a few minutes so now you can see this url just copy this url go to any of your browser i am going to google chrome now paste it and click enter so now you can see the home screen a welcome screen of a project with the project title a system for automated vehicle damage localization severity estimation using deep learning 
So first, just click this login menu. It will be navigated to the login page. Kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project. So just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button. So now you can see the login success message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the first mode that is the image based prediction. So here you can select the image. So in the, in the project folder, we have given the uploads file in that you can see the test cases images. You can select any of them. So let me show you with a few cases. So let me select the first image and then click submit. So now you can see the prediction result. You can preview the image here what we uploaded and you can see the predicted result. It is dent and it is estimating the percentage of it of 89%. The result is 0.89. So in case if you wanted to check with other case, just click this image prediction menu again. So it will be navigated to the image prediction part. So now let me give uh, some other case and show you. And let me give this image now. And here you can see the result is damage wind in shield 0.92. So now let me go to the image prediction again. I'll show you with a few cases and then move to the next one, next part of the detection mode. So here you can see it is predicted as the damage headlight 0.91 and damage hood 0.5948 like that. And now let me go to the image prediction for the next case. Just select this image. So now you can see it is printed as dent and 0.65 percentage. And let me give this case. And you can see it is printed as damaged door, damaged door 0.93 and 0.84. Let me go to the image prediction again. I'll show you with the other case. So here you can see it is predicted as damage hood 0.82 and damage headlight 0.88 with multiple classes in it. Finally, I'll select an image of this and then click submit. You can see the better result is damage hood, damage headlight has been shown. So in this way, you can check with other cases that is being used in the training or validation part. So now let me move to the next part that is the video based prediction. So before giving the input, I'll show you the input um, video what I'm going to give. So let, let me select this video so this is the input video i'm going to give 1267 so now let me select this video 1267 and then click upload so as it is a video based prediction it will be converting into frames and it will be taking so it takes some time you here you can see the window of the result you can just check it out that it is doing step by step process kindly wait till the complete uh, uh, loading is been completed so till wait till that process is completed it is doing step by step things so now once after the process is completed you can see it will be uh, navigated like this so now if you go to that uh, our project folder in, uh, in the car damage folder here you can see the file called output video uh, will be created automatically so you can see the date and time 9 10 2024 10 a.m so here you can see the time 9 10 2024 10 34 now so it has been created now so whenever you are giving a video based prediction this output will be created so now let me open and show you the predicted result so if you open that you can see it is showing the damage window which how many percentage like that so you can see the output so now if i delete this output now i will just go to the video prediction again i will select some other video now so now let me take this uh, this this video and then click upload now kindly wait till the process is completed 
so now the process is completed uh, now let me go to this folder you can see the again the output uh, video is been created you can see the date and time it is 10 35 created so now let me show you the output of the predicted result so now you can see it is showing the damaged uh, door damage uh, windshield those details so now let me pass the video and show you you can see damage windshield 0 0.58 damage windshield damage hood so you can see it has been predicting the results in the video based part so in this way you can check with the other cases also so now let me move to the next part that is the webcam base part so before moving to the webcam part make sure that you are connected your system or laptop with the web camera so now let me click the webcam menu now it takes for that some time for loading so now you can see the webcam is switched on so now let me keep this window this side now let me take some images and show you how it is going to predict let me keep this window on the left side and our webcam base in the right side so now you can see it is predicting the case as dent next next video I'll, next image i'll just load it so you can see it is showing the damage windshield now i'll just select other case so now you can see it is showing damage headlight now let me select some other image so now it is showing it is classifying as dent or damage door so in this way you can just check with the uh, other things so this is the video it is predicting the video also in this way in the real time way you can just uh, predict it so in this way it will be predicting the real time web camera based also so now let me go to the other next part final part that is using performance analysis so in the performance analysis, we'll be seeing the performance analysis parameter, precision, recall, and MEP50. So this is a performance analysis parameter for the YOLO V8 model for the classes of damaged door, damaged headlight, damaged mirror, dent, damaged hood, damaged bumper, damaged windshield. So the performance analysis parameter, the recent precision recall and MAP50 values have been displayed here. And then in the performance analysis, we'll be showing about the confusion matrix also for the classes of damage, door damage, window damage, jet light, damage, mirror, dent, damage, hood, damage, bumper, damage, windshield, these details. So in the performance analysis, you can see this performance analysis parameter for the YOLO V8 model with the confusion matrix of it. And finally, the chart part, this is a static chart because we are not using any database in the project. So this, this is a static data visualization chart which shows the pictorial representation of the percentage of the images that we have used in the data set. So this contained uh 10.4 percentage of damaged door images in the data set and 7.8 with damaged window images damaged headlight with 20.8 percentage 5.2 with damaged mirror 18.2 with the dent 13 percentage with damaged hood 9.1 with damaged bumper and 15.6 percentage with damaged windshield so this is the pictorial representation of the data visualization chart of the data set that we have used and now let me log out so this is all about the project a system for automated vehicle damage localization and severity estimation using deep learning and thank you for watching